Today we're going to be talking about some of the best software to learn in order to take advantage of the recent jumps in technology and up your game as an architect in 2023. I've already made a video on this topic in 2021 but it's 2023 now. Times have changed a lot in the meanwhile. I've added some and removed a lot from my arsenal. By the way, sorry for my boring background. I recently moved to the UK and haven't set things up yet. So before we dive in, let me share a bit about my own learning process and what I've learned so far. I've tried a ton of different software over the years. It's pretty much every software that exists. It took me a lot, I mean a lot of time figuring this out. So I'm saving you a plenty of time. Leave a like, would you? And subscribe, please. I tend to gravitate towards free software whenever possible. I had to be kept in Jack Sparrow for a while to try out all these different software programs. It doesn't mean I'm settling down for like low quality software. In fact, it's quite the opposite. Keep on watching, I'm gonna explain it deeper. By the way, I'm Jervin Geo. You can find me on Instagram at Geo Jervin. So without any further ado, let's jump right into the video. Let's start with our first category that is 3D modeling and CAD. CAD doesn't mean AutoCAD. It is computer-aided design, which is a software category. I haven't used AutoCAD in a while, to be honest. Instead, I used Rhinoceros. It's just not ideal for 2D drafting. I still recommend using AutoCAD for 2D. I just got very much used to Rhino because I teach it online in car one and offline at my university for undergrads. 100% recommend learning Rhino. It has everything you need when it comes to 3D modeling. can even replace software like Maya and Blender because of Rhino Sub D. And when it comes to Grasshopper, boy oh boy, anything, I mean anything could be created using this software. It's pretty much like an API for a Rhino. You can create stuff ranging from complex parametric models to animations, simulations and whatnot. Heck, you can even use C Sharp and Python. I even started creating my own plugins in Grasshopper. So with all that said, first and foremost, I highly recommend Rhino and Grasshopper. These two tools are incredibly powerful and flexible and essential for anyone looking to create complex streaming models and designs. I know many architects rely on BIM software like Revit, but for me, I find that Rhino and Grasshopper offer me more flexibility and creativity in my workflow. I honestly never fell into any situation that needed me to use BIM. Most probably I won't need it in the future. If the situation comes, I am confident enough that I can adapt. So make sure you know the basics, I guess. If you're focusing on getting a job, I'd recommend you finding out what software they use and then learning it. Cool, in addition to that, I would recommend you to use Adobe Creative Suite for presentation purposes. As an architect, you know that clear and visually appealing presentation are essential to communicate your design ideas to clients and your jurors, right? That's where Adobe Photoshop, InDesign and Illustrator come in. These powerful design tools can help you create presentations and showcase your work at the best light. So what you can do with these tools? First, let me talk about Photoshop. This software is a must have for any architect as it allows you to edit and manipulate images to create the perfect visual representation for your design. You can use it to touch up and enhance photos. Next, let's talk about InDesign. This software is a professional grade layout tool that allows you to create and print digital documents with precise control over typography, color and layout. Finally, let's talk about Illustrator. This software is a vector graphics tool which allows you to create high quality vector graphics and artwork. 
can use it to create custom logos, diagrams, and other visual elements for your presentations. So can you use these tools together in your architecture presentation? Yes, definitely, you can. So you can use Photoshop to edit and enhance photos of your design, creating a polished and professional look. You can then use InDesign to lay out your presentation, including texts, graphics, and other visual elements. And if you need to create custom graphics or diagrams, you can use Illustrator to create them. And everything would be linked to each other, creating a seamless workflow. Now let's talk about rendering. In the past, I've used tools like Lumion, V-Ray, Enscape, and Twinmotion for rendering. But lately, I've been really excited about the potential of Unreal Engine. And the best part is it's absolutely free, like Blender, Unity, and Unreal which is not only free, but far more capable. Just imagine like popular games like Fortnite and PUBG are created using Unreal Engine. And with the addition of Nanite, Unreal Engine is now capable of producing incredibly realistic and high quality renders without the risk of your PC exploding. And it's also a great tool for creating immersive VR experiences. I started using it recently and struggled a bit in the beginning because even the simplest things needed coding. But guess what? I loved it. It gives you a sense of freedom. There are no limitations to what you can do. So yeah, the only downside is the steep learning curve. So if you can be patient for a while, you can produce God-level output. And if you feel like it's too much for you, there are other free options like Twinmotion, which is also based on Unreal Engine with one of its later addition, Path Tracer, which is an offline renderer like V-Ray. You can create photo real outputs if you put enough effort into it. Finally, I want to talk about video editing. As architects, we use video editing software at least once in a while. It could be used to edit your walkthrough animations, add titles and animations, so and so. You can use it to create amazing motion graphics. The software I'm going to suggest is DaVinci Resolve. It's also a free professional grade video editing software developed by Blackmagic Design. And it's available for both Windows and Mac operating systems. It's widely used in the film and television industry, and it's known for its powerful color grading capabilities. But DaVinci Resolve isn't just a color grading tool, it's a full featured video editing software that can handle all stages of post-production process. It includes a timeline-based editor, audio tools, compositing tools, and more. Pretty much all the Hollywood movies you see are most probably edited and color graded in DaVinci. I ditched Premiere Pro, After Effects, and Audition, which is not only annoying to switch between software, but also pricey. Overall, these are the software tools that I think are worth learning in 2023. Of course, there are plenty of other software out there and the best software for you will depend on your specific needs and goals. All the programs I mentioned are based on my experience and are my own opinion. So please don't get triggered if I said something wrong by your favorite software. Let me know in the comments what other software you think you'll be using from now. Would be a great discussion, I think. Also, if you have any suggestions or video ideas moving forward, let me know about that. Also, I know I was making a lot of SketchUp tutorials in the early days of my channel. You can go check that out. I'm not gonna make them anymore. I got bored of SketchUp, to be honest. I even uninstalled it. The ideas I have in mind are making a masterclass for Rhino, creating more videos on presentations and visuals, tips on making portfolios, a bit of general tips like how to manage the time and stuff about my masters, etc. So you can definitely expect these kind of videos moving forward. And now don't forget to check out our other videos on our channel. Make sure you like the video. I'm serious about this. Do it right now. I mean, come on, man. Uh, I'm not getting paid for this yet. And trust me, I'm broke. Anyway, catch you guys in the next video. See ya.